this video, I'm going to show you how you can form a cohort. So we have data. Uh, over here, uh, we see we've got the customer ID. We have the date of the purchase. We've got the amount. If you look at my previous video, uh, you'll see that this data has been aggregated to the weekly level. So we have this sequence of dates, January 1st, 1997, January 8th, January 15th, January 22nd, and so on and so forth. And all the purchases that happen within each of those weeks is pushed back to the previous week. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this data and I'm going to, to form my cohort. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to first sort my data by customer ID and then by date. And the reason I do this is now I know that when I see this customer for the very first time, that must be that customer's first purchase. And because we define a customer to be acquired when they've made their very first purchase, then I can use this as my uh, way of identifying people's birthday. So I'm just going to create a column called birthday. And the logic for how to get the birthday is relatively simple. If this is the first time I'm seeing this customer, then this cell will not be equal to this cell. It's the first time I'm seeing it. And if it is the first time I'm seeing this customer, then I know that the date of that purchase is the first purchase for this customer. Now, if this purchase was not the customer's first purchase, if it's a repeat purchase, then I know that I've already seen that customer's birthday. So I can just kind of highlight the, the row one above. So if I just kind of copy, paste the format over here, and then uh, copy that formula down, we can see it's doing what we expect. So take, for example, customer number three. This customer made their very first purchase in uh, January 1st, 1997. And we can see all these other repeat purchases, but we can see they're all associated with that same January 1st, 1997. Obviously, you know, for customer number two, this customer was one and done. First purchase was January 8th. And yes, we see that the birthday was uh, January 8th as well. So that gives us the birthday. Now, if we want to form a proper cohort, what we're going to do next is we're going to highlight this data and we're going to create a pivot table. I'm going to go over here. And now what I want, what I want to do my final analysis on is uh, the tracking plot data. And then ultimately, I'm going to want to look at the average order values over time. And so the way to pull up the relevant data is to add the birthday over here as a filter. And then I'm going to have the rows represent my dates. And then I'm, for each of those dates, I'm going to get first the total number of transactions that happen. So I can either begin the count of the amounts. And then I can also get the total amount of spend uh, in those particular periods. So if I just kind of go to birthday over here and highlight January 1st, 1997, then this is going to pull up all of the customers that were acquired in this particular week, and I'm just going to see the data for those people. So I go like that. And uh, again, as mentioned before, when we include the date over here, it automatically defaults to putting the year, quarter, and month. But if you just click on ungroup, it gives you back all of the, the days. And now the cool thing is we see this first row uh, represents the total number of customers that are required. Because again, everyone who makes their first purchase in this week is a part of our cohort. And so that means that by construction, we must have 1,574 people in the cohort. So I can just kind of take this data <clears throat> and park it over here. Again, this is the date. This is the number of purchases. And this is the total spend. And given that, I can then get the number of purchases per cohort member and the empirical average order value within those uh, particular periods. 
So the number of purchases per cohort member is equal to the number of purchases in that period divided by the number of people in the cohort. But we know the number of people in the cohort is the number of people who place the transaction in that first week. So you just divide it by this, uh, where this is kind of hard coded down. <clears throat> Convert that to a percentage. Drag this down. Let's give ourselves an additional decimal. And uh, we can see that data. For AOV, again, it's just the average order value. Take total amount of spend, divide by total number of purchases, and we are good to go. So I'm just going to get this, and I'm going to drag this down too. That's it.